Hi, my name is Derek. I'm the Geocortex Analytics Product Manager. Today, we'll take a look at actually configuring dashboards so you can actually present all your panels you're looking for in one place. Let's dive in. Let's add a dashboard by going to the top right hand corner here where we see My Dashboards. You select this, add a new dashboard, name it based on the theme. I'm going to look at this theme for LA County Services and call it that, LA Services Performance. By creating my dashboard, I'll now have one available, but I have not yet added any content to it. To add content, I need to go and find panels I want to add to my dashboard. So looking at services performance overall, probably want to see things that impact it, such as the server, the ArcGIS server, and maybe Essentials as well. Now looking through this, I have a panel in front of me with a lot of service information on it, but it's not just for the LA County area I should look for. What I can do is apply a filter to it and type in only things for Los Angeles. When I filter this, now I can see all my services for Los Angeles, and this filter will be retained when I apply it to my dashboard. I go over here, this icon, and I can add it to my dashboard I just created for LA Services Performance. Now I have that added. I can also go through and take a look at my server, which it resides on, to see how it's performing. I can correlate that information. Going down to my actual memory usage, I think that's just very, also very useful to be able to understand how my services are performing to ensure the actual hardware can handle the demands. So I'll also add that to my dashboard for LA services performance. Finally, I'm going to go and filter this whole menu and take a look for my LA County application that I want to monitor. Selecting this, what I'm looking for is to see the overall traffic that's coming in, to seeing how that actual services are performing under demand of end users. And I'll also add that one in to my dashboard. Now that I've gone through and added numerous items to my dashboard, let's take a look at it. And this is what I'm seeing in my dashboard, is that I'm able to go through and have this wonderful panel just with my filtered results for Los Angeles. I'm able to see the server that it's residing on for that uh, ArcGIS server. And I'm able to go down and also see the actual visitor types coming through from my application, all in one place. And these actual dashboards are also exportable to PDF for sharing. That's how we create a dashboard. Thank you for your time.